The A380 is the world's largest passenger plane. It represents a multi-billion euro gamble, a gamble whose odds are impossible to calculate. As Airbus production manager for the A380, it's Rüdiger Fuchs's job to ensure that the super jumbo will be a success story. His first taste of success came on October 15th in Toulouse. Airbus handed over its first service-ready A380 to Singapore Airlines. Its maiden flight was just a few days away. Just one year before, the super jumbo project was looking like a fiasco. Production had ground to a halt as executive personnel were caught in a revolving door. It seemed nobody wanted to take responsibility for the floundering A380 project. Enter Rudiger Fuchs. Now, Airbus chief executive Tom Andas is celebrating an astonishing turnaround. But today, today belongs to Airbus's employees. Thank you for your enormous efforts you've made so far. That change came at an enormous price. Development costs hit an estimated 12 billion euros, and no expense was spared on the handover ceremonies. Pilot Robert Ting and Rudiger Fuchs were among the 380 VIP guests. With all the celebrating, no one mentioned the fact that this party should have taken place 18 months before. Perhaps it was the relief that it was taking place at all. Still, it was an emotional moment for the ones who made it happen. The aircraft is out of our hands now. It belongs to Singapore Airlines. This is the day that our baby leaves the nest, where it takes flight in the truest sense of the word. In just 10 days' time, flight captain Robert Ting would pilot the Super Jumbo on its first commercial run. Now, with 30 years' experience as a pilot, Ting has to get used to the media spotlight the photo sessions and interviews. We are professional pilots. Uh, this is the first time where I am in the limelight. Uh, so I am not very, very comfortable. I try my best, uh, but I, I, I just, I'm still quite calm. I just, just take it as the way it comes and I, I answer as, much, as best as I can. At the celebration in Toulouse, a well-kept secret is finally revealed. 23 flight attendants give a complete tour of the cabins. Singapore Airlines has made passenger comfort a major aspect of its effort to woo customers. Singapore's goal was to set standards beyond first class, to provide luxury approaching that of a private jet. With seven gourmet meals to choose from and 100 TV and video programs, Flying takes on added comfort for those who can afford it. But when it comes to economy class, things haven't changed all that much. The lavatories look about the same as on any other plane. The seats in economy are also a bit cramped, but everyone has an individual entertainment module. <laughs> 